Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another review. Just excuse my voice for the for the time being. I am on the tail end of a nasty bout of the Rona. <laughs> it finally got to me. Um, it hasn't been much fun, but um, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm starting to bounce back now, which is nice. Uh, it's been a pretty pretty miserable couple of days, um, but uh, yeah, I did have some mail come in, so that was nice. Um, you know, it was just had to yell at the postman to just leave it at the door. Um, despite the fact he wanted a signature, so it was it, it worked out okay. Um, so yeah, we got Cad Bane from the Bad Batch, uh, mainly from the episode on Braca. Um, this one's looking pretty good. I'm excited about this one. Um, not a bad exclusive. Uh, definitely one that's you know it's it's accessible uh, around the world, um, presumably, um, without having to pay too much more. I think it was still fifty two bucks or something like that, which probably after you know um, after everything that's uh, all the you know conversion and stuff, it's probably in line with what it is in the United States as well, so, but, uh, yeah, I wasn't going to miss out on Cad Bane by any stretch, um, side box art looks great, um, and yeah, of course, Cad Bane's appearance in Book of Boba earlier in the year, um, was, yeah, a real treat, so, yeah, hoping, hoping that's the next Cad on the way, so, um, yeah, we'll open him up and we'll take a look at the figure. All right, here we have the Cad Meister. This is a uh, really nice figure. I did get the uh, the Clone Wars one to do a bit of a comparison, but for now, we'll take a look at the blaster pistols. Nicely detailed, nicely painted, and they're uh, sort of a harder plastic as opposed to a um, you know soft rubbery one. But I'm pretty sure the original Cad's pistols were like that too. So he does come with both of those. So that's nice. Uh, hat is removable. And then we have, you know, the updated head sculpt on this CAD. So he's got the uh, he's got the metal plate on the head from his injuries from a not yet canonized duel with Boba Fett. So that's cool. Definitely want to definitely want to see that story play out. Uh, in terms of similarities, I think the reused parts are. Well, the, the head and the neck joint with the collar there, um, that looks to be the same. The, uh, the lower arms seem to be the same. Yeah, so from the, from the elbows down. And then the pants are new. Uh, boots are new. He has new thrusters. I'm not sure if they're the right way up or whether the... Oh yeah, that looks like they're meant to be that way. They're removable. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I reckon maybe the top of the legs, where they sort of fit into these sort of higher trouser part, I think they're the same. So probably that whole section there. No, it appears to be, it appears to be slightly different, just looking at it. No, I think it's the same. So... Yeah, the sort of just the upper thighs and the the junk <laughs> is uh, is the same. Now, one thing I'm noticing is normally on his fingerless gloves on his on the Clone Wars one, you know, has his blue fingers, whereas this one is just wearing gloves. I can't remember if that's accurate to the show, um, but I definitely like the look on his face. I don't feel the reds as bright, but. Maybe it is. It's just a, you know, he's just got a bit more of a. Let's compare them. Let's get. Let's get these cads together. So you can see they've got the same shaped head. Breathing apparatus is the same. So yeah, that's just, that's another similarity. That's just some blue tack I've got in his head just to keep the hat on. But yeah, definitely another nice version of CAD. Still think I always prefer the old duster coat and much more sort of a Western vibe, but I do like what they've done with uh, Bad Batch CAD. And the hats are different. Uh, so yeah, he's got a slightly smaller one this time. You can sort of see there. So that's cool. Two holsters there. I love 
love the love the sort of ammo belt. That's still very Western like. So they've definitely still stuck with the sort of Western aesthetic. And uh, maybe think of um, think of the end of the first first Clint Eastwood uh, the Dollars trilogy where he's got the uh, metal plate on his chest. He straps himself up. But yeah, it's a cool outfit. He's got all the good articulation too. You know, he's got the got the butterfly joints there. He's even got these sort of armor bits on the shoulders that do sort of pivot up and down a little bit. So that's cool. I like that a lot. I'm, I'm a fan. I, I like this more than I thought I would, honestly. Um, I thought it was always going to be hard to beat that first Cad Bane. And I don't think it does, but it's, you know, pretty becomes pretty damn close. And I like the green boots. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and watch those couple episodes that he was in. Just for a bit of a refresh. Because, yeah, from a lot of photos, it looked like the, the face sculpt was sort of underpainted or, you know. But no, it's, it's, it, it's good. It works. I think it looks nice. And just the extra detail of what they've done there with the... Uh, with the head at the top there, it's cool. So the old gunslinger lives on. So yeah, great. Great figure. Definitely probably could use a little like a matte finish on the chest just to take a bit of the shine out of the armor there, but it's alright. It's nice details all over. Yeah, if he doesn't have his blue fingers out, you know, and they're just gloves, that's cool, that works. See how they are the same hands. And I do have the Toto from the uh, Deluxe CAD, so I can display him with either of these, which is cool. I think he is completely boxed up with all my other Black Series at the moment. <laughs> So, um, yeah, eventually. I do have my Hunter, though, so I could definitely do a bit of a, a bit of a shootout between the two. Should be cool. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go get a drink of water just to rest my voice before I get on to the next one. I do have another video to review, to record. Um, and, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that one. Thanks for taking a look at CAD. I'm, you know, really impressed with this one. Much more than I thought I'd be, like I said. He's good. Good, good figure. All right, folks. We'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you. Always.